Well, we've seen the signs on storefront windows, help wanted. Of course, it's not just restaurants and small businesses who need assistance these days. People everywhere are stressed out. They're at their wits end and they're looking for support. But here's the good news from Max Lucado. Help is already here. Beloved pastor Max Lucado has written and sold more faith-based books than just about anyone. His masterful use of scripture and storytelling has encouraged millions. Max is quick to acknowledge the many difficulties life throws our way. In his newest release, Help Is Here, Max says trusting the Holy Spirit means we don't have to walk this path alone or carry burdens too heavy to bear. Well, Max Lucado joins us now via Zoom. Mac, Max, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. It's certainly my pleasure. Uh, my only regret is that I'm not there in the studio with you, but it's great to talk to you, and hello from San Antonio, Texas. All right, hello from Texas. Well, let's, let's just go ahead and get into it. The last time we had you on the program, Max, you had just been diagnosed with an aortic aneurysm. How are you doing today? Thankfully, I'm doing well. The uh, aortic aneurysm has not grown. Uh, for that, I'm very grateful. And uh, in fact, I have an appointment this week with my cardiologist. We just had it measured about two weeks ago, and it didn't show any growth. So we're grateful. I can live with it uh, at this size, and uh, I'm, I'm thankful for the prayers. The prayers are being answered. I have complete strength. My schedule is 100%, and so uh, I'm, uh, I'm moving on with life. Pretty good for a 67-year-old. <laughs> wow. Well, we are so happy to hear that good news. Well, let's talk about your book. Your book is all about the Holy Spirit helping us through our troubles. What are some of the ways that the Holy Spirit has helped you through the years? Well, um, I grew up in a in a particular uh, branch of the Christian church that did not emphasize the Holy Spirit. In fact, had you asked me uh, as a young Christian, uh, who is the Holy Spirit? My answer would have been the Holy Who. <laughs> I, I don't fault anybody. I owned a Bible. I could have uh, read about him. Uh, but it was years into my Christian life before I really came to see that the Holy Spirit is our heavenly helper, our unfailing friend. And for me, this began in my mid-30s when I uh, began as a senior pastor of the church where I still serve to this day. And uh, I, I went through a time of of great, as many pastors do, uh, of great stress and feeling overwhelmed, like I, I was in charge of everything. And uh, I developed a bad case of insomnia, and I used to climb out of bed in the middle of the night and go downstairs and pray. Little by little, I sensed a supernatural strength uh, helping me. Uh, we saw answered prayers and healings in our church. My own prayers uh, saw people being healed, especially uh, mothers who were having difficulty having uh, getting pregnant. And I began to realize that there was a strength taking place in my life. And uh, I was studying John 14 one day, and I heard the, or I heard, or I read the words of Jesus where he described the Holy Spirit as our helper or our paraclete, our advocate. And I thought, now that that's who I have. I have a, a heaven sent helper. And uh, ever since then, I have learned to, to depend upon the presence of God on the earth today. The Holy Spirit is executing God's will on the earth today and available to bring help to anybody who needs it. Yeah, well, I'm, Max, as I'm sure you know, there's a lot of people, Christians, non-Christians, people all over who are experiencing just anxiety on another level. What are some practical ways that we can access the power of the Holy Spirit that can help us overcome anxious thoughts and feelings? Well, let's begin by uh, admitting or confessing, Holy Spirit, you're here. You know, the Bible opens with the presence of the Spirit hovering over the waters before uh, the earth was turned from, a, from a, a rumbling mass into the beautiful creation. And so the Holy Spirit came to hover, that is to, to calm everything, maybe like, a, like an eagle would calm uh, her newborns in a nest. 
And so the Holy Spirit has this ability. Uh, when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came as a dove. Uh, I can't think of a more calming bird than that of a dove. And so first acknowledge, Holy Spirit, you're here. You're here in my life. And then talk to him. Tell him specifically what you need. The Apostle Paul instructed us to pray in the Spirit on all occasions. And so we pray living in the Spirit, living in the awareness of the Spirit. Many people have a heavenly language through which they pray. And all of us, uh, regardless of our gifting, can talk to the Holy Spirit at any time. Yeah. And then lastly, be specific. Just be specific. Say, Lord, today I have this challenge. Would you please take it? In everything, by prayer and petition, the Scripture says, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Mm, I absolutely love that. Well, Max, well, everyone, you can learn more about the Holy Spirit and how it can work in your life by getting a copy of Max's brand new book. I highly recommend it. It's called Help Is Here, and it's available in stores nationwide. Max, thank you so much for joining us today all the way from Texas, and we're so glad that you're, you're better. Thank you. Thank you. Hope to see you again sometime in person. Yes, us too.